Hey folks, how you doing? Make sure you follow me in this video. You're gonna learn what Casa for a Cause is, what this whole master plan community in a electric only subdivision can do for you and what the prices are. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's check it out. Welcome to Las Cruces. Hey folks, how you doing? Alfonso Garcia here on this beautiful September morning, driving through this new subdivision. You're not gonna find it on the maps. We're right next to the Red Hawk Golf Course here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Follow me for this video. We have an amazing video of four houses with this builder that you're not gonna find on the MLS. Let's see what we have. Okay, folks, so as mentioned, uh, this builder, French Brothers, if you ever come to French Brothers with me, we're gonna be dealing with Sam. He's one of their best salesperson's uh, reps here. He knows his products, he's done building, his family is uh, in the construction business. He's now representing French Brothers. Uh, long story short, we're gonna help you out find the right home. Uh, I mentioned Casa for a Cause, we're gonna tell you all about that later. We have four houses, I hope I can get to them today. If not, I'm gonna do you two videos, two houses, two, two videos, two houses. Um, we're by the golf course and one more house is gonna be right uh, block off the golf course. Fully uh, uh, electric homes, already pre-wired for your electric system. So let's say you come in, you want your solar system, you don't have to pay a separate electrician to uh, do the wiring. It's about $1,500 to $2,000 and then get your electric system put in. You know, because those companies, they don't do that. They hire an electrical uh, uh, company to do that for them. So, but this has already come with. Let's give this a look, folks. I'm already running, rushing you through this house. Let's see what they have to offer. Uh, right off the st uh, start, these builders, through competition, what we've noticed here in the uh, metro area, they're giving you a lot more front yard landscaping. Uh, boulders, you, at best you should get one of these. Each one of these rocks costs you about 150 bucks, just so you know, or more, okay? Exterior, start off. Uh, fully high efficient builder, just not certified as an efficiency builder, but they're using everything that they can uh, to get this house to efficiency. Two by six construction, blown in insulation, R40 in the ceiling insulation. A little bit of corbel action here. Pretty nice, eight foot. I like the color of the door. Come on in folks, so we come on in. Good what? 10 foot ceiling height. Let me back up a bit because I'm always good at running into these houses and just going crazy, right? See, look at the trim board, folks. I'm gonna take you to some houses sometimes and they're gonna have one inch, uh, one and a half to two inch trim and you're gonna feel the difference and that's okay. If our price point is, let's say, if we're in the 250s, uh, three, 300s and under, then so be it, okay? But in a house like this, you expect more. You come right in, this should be your coat closet, which it is. And this house, we can get you in this house for 322,000 and change. Okay, a wonderful home. Staggered uh, cabinetry there, crown molded cabinetry up top. I love the look. Did they go with soft closed drawers? Seems to be, our doors. Not really, 322. Give me about maybe 10 grand more and you start getting different features of soft, soft clothes. Or build with this builder. It doesn't cost you more to go with that upgrade. The doors are, drawers are not. When you have a tray like this, in general, I've been taught to paint your ceilings white. For sure, if you have a tray, paint that tray white, or maybe the accent feature, the walls of the tray, paint them a different color, make it pop, okay? For sure. And if you have tall ceilings, use proper size fans, don't get small fans, you know? Make it look proportionate to what you're uh, sitting in. Check this out, folks. Look at this feature, what did I tell you? Look at the difference it makes, just giving that little accent color to the ceiling tray. Big difference, right? 322,000 and change. Now look, you can get into this four bedroom home right next to the golf club here in the Red Hawk Golf Club area. All right, so you come on in here, you have beautiful frameless glass door. Deco tile going up and down with your little nicho there for your stuff to sit. Did they give us a bench, Banco? Yes, right there, right folks? So I can shave my legs. Us men, we don't really sit around much, but you gotta realize that if your builder doesn't include that, ask them, right? Ladies need to shave their legs and that's a very neat feature to have. 
granite countertops, beautiful tile throughout in here. Now they're using ceramic tile. Check this out folks, this is what we call open floor living, especially in a 1,656 square foot house. What did these builders do many, many years ago? They realized that they still have to charge you for that formal dining room, okay? They still have to charge you for that. So what happened is many people, if you have a formal dining room, I have one, I think I use it two, three times a year at best. Uh, otherwise it's there to collect junk, you know, so it looks horrible. Uh, and you still have all the other floor space, but you gotta get charged for it, right? It's a living area. Walk this bedroom so you can get a good feel of what a, a typical bedroom size is. 10 by 10s, 10 and a half by 11s, 11 by 11s, that's what you're gonna get nowadays from these builders. You don't get a fan here, so if you want to build with them, just ask for that. Remember, it's all electric. We're gonna be fine. Just install that solar system. There's about maybe one to 500 sales reps for solar in this area. And do let us know, we do have a sales rep for solar. Okay, check out this beautiful bathroom. Nice espresso mocha colored cabinetry, deco tile instead of standard. So a little bit of touches, a little bit of features going on in there. Alrighty folks, not bad, right? Uh, let's, I wanna give you an indicator of what a backyard looks like in a $322,000, 16 square, 100 square foot home. Let's see what you think. Look at this patio, it's pretty good size. Rock wall, you get lucky, the back rock wall is high, so your backyard neighbors, you won't be messing with much. You will have a neighbor there, you most likely will have your, your uh, views obstructed, but at the very least on this lot, in the evenings, you see how the sun's in my face? It's morning. In the evening, the sun's gonna travel, settle west. This is a west-facing yard. I mean, a face, a uh, house. The house uh, face is facing west, which is what you want if in the evenings you want that house to your back and you're sitting here facing the mountains, enjoying your yard with the shade to your back, okay? Uh, don't forget, folks, at this point, like and subscribe, share, comment, ask me questions. That's what I'm here for. Get your butt to town. Let's find you the right house, okay? This house is only 320000 22. Four bedroom folks, what would a four bedroom home that looks like this in your city cost you? Huh? And what city are you watching me from? Do me a favor, chime in as we clean up here. We don't want to track this wonderful house. And let's see what we think. We have house number two to go to folks. Let's get us going on that. Alrighty folks, so here we go. Let's get that second house. When you come hang out with me, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna see me with my clipboard. Uh, get all these stats together, get you on a route that's uh, efficient. We're not gonna be bouncing around the whole city. We're gonna be very efficient. We're gonna go to lunch if it's a long day. We're gonna pick up my own trash if I throw it around. Check it out, folks. So I got here in this neighborhood around 8.30 this morning, thinking I'd be early. The men and women that build America, they were already there probably since 8, 7.30. I thought I was early, so apparently that uh, this man that sells America gets there on 8.30 and they beat me to it. Sam, this is another awesome home from French Brothers. Bumping up, right? We came, check that out. That was 322. Let's back up, folks. That was 322. All right. Now we're going to step into, look. Look at the contemporary face. Look at the difference. That costs you about 10 to 15 grand more. I got to look at the exact split. But that's contemporary elevation. Same builder, traditional elevation, okay? You're gonna pay a little bit more for that. Quite a bit more, considerably. You know, I mean, compared to, because we're in the 300s. So you're probably close to 10 grand on a $300,000 house. That's a $10,000 upgrade. You still get all your front shrubbery, as you can see, 320, 395. Still same front landscaping, okay? Now let's see where that cost comes in. Most likely porcelain tile, because it's this exterior. Salt, finished uh, concrete uh, sidewalks. Let's see what we have, folks. This one is open, we're in. Lights are on, what do you know? They did us a favor. Oh my gosh, so we have huge, what? 16 foot, 18 foot, I don't have my digital meter with me. Entry, about 16 and probably 17 to the apex. We have vaulted ceiling here, folks, so that's going to make it feel even grander. Gosh, we hit 16s, and this house doesn't even pass 400,000, a feature that you don't see typically under that price point. Nice tall ceilings. It costs more, right? Remember when a 4x8 sheet of plywood was at $70? What the heck? 
So office, not a bedroom. If you have a listing agent, folks, and they tell you that your bedroom or your office cannot be listed as a bedroom, I spoke to our legal department for Realtors of Association of New Mexico. As long as it has its own access to entryway and egress, egress is a window, operable window, that's a bedroom, does not have to have a closet. You can always put a hutch in there, right? Don't worry about it, we'll get you listed right. Here's another quick tip. In a minute, I'm gonna teach you a tip as far as what an FHA loan can do for you as far as when you're selling your house. Do you wanna lock in somebody at a 4% interest rate? I'll teach you how. Would you put uh, some tile here? Some tile cladding? That might pop it off or paint it different. What would you do here? Do me a favor, mention that in the comments. Give me some ratings. I would really appreciate that. Or just say hello. Beautiful cabinetry, tall cabinetry, staggered all throughout with crown molding. I love this blue that they went with this backsplash. Quartzite countertops, three centimeter thick. Don't forget they're doing two by six construction here. And it looks like on the doors and drawers, they did do, did do soft close. Casa for a cause, what is that? This builder, every year Casa for a cause picks a builder to build them a house and all the trades, where they're talking 50 to 80 trades from what I heard, everybody is donating their time, labor, and materials. And once this $400,000 house is sold, it goes to a cause and this uh, uh, charity, Casa for a Cause. Uh, look it up, see if you wanna purchase and be part of that and uh, make a difference in our community. And this year it was French Brothers that was chosen to do so and they're working hard at it. We're gonna drive by it here real soon and bring you some updates little by little, see what you think, okay? But let's continue on. What did I say, 2158, 2158 square feet. Uh, I like how they're using, this is similar to the model home, if I remember correctly. I like how they're using the pantry off around the corner. You don't see the, uh, you don't see the door to the pantry. Remember this in the model home, a little bit different backsplash and colors and whatnot. Don't forget, just go white. You're getting a feel. I mean, you've got 10 foot ceilings. So I just keep saying it, go white. You're not going to get a fan in here. That would be an upgrade. And this is that Jack and Jill combo bathroom area, if you remember. You're gonna come in here and these two bedrooms are gonna share this awesome bathroom. Once again, they got that blue backsplash going on. Maybe you wanna frame your mirrors and then you have a beautiful deco tile back, uh, I mean a band of tile going up that bathroom. That is cool. I'm loving it. So give this a feel. Let me walk it real quick and you stay there. This is the depth of what a yard you'll get on a 2,100 square foot house on a lot, uh, traditional uh, a lot nowadays without a premium, right? Like if you want a bigger lot, we'll get that for you. And it looks like this floor plan does go come with this elongated uh, patio. Very, very important. A lot of people tell me, it's like, oh, some builders do like 10 grand for a patio upgrade. Uh, but they're like, oh, Alfonso, I know concrete's only three, 400 bucks for 20 square feet or whatever, you know, 200 square feet or whatever. Uh, but keep in mind, you're paying for this. This is what you're paying for. Trusses, covered patio. That means this entire roof structure had to be extended. The entire thing, not just what you see here, everything on top, all the materials, all the load bearing structures that had to go into it has nothing to do with the concrete underneath. That's cheap. Concrete's cheap. The rest is what you're paying for. You want to have covered anything, you're gonna pay for that roof. All right, folks, so what are we leaving? We're leaving a 395,000 three bedroom home. Let's see what else we have. We're loving this, right? Hopefully she's open, folks. We're in. I'm loving that door color, how about you? Let's see what we have. Where did we come from? 322, 395, a 322 four bedroom, 395 three bedroom, but it was 2,100 square feet. Here we're walking into a $360,500 house, $500 house, three bedroom, 1,892 square feet. This one's a little bit different. You have tall ceilings, okay? Well, all these floor plans, gosh, the previous one was a vaulted ceiling, went to 16. This one goes to 16, it's flat, transitions to a 10, recessed lighting, amazing. Nice tall eight foot entry door, rounded bull nose corners, Let's see, bedroom one. Bedroom one, 
good size. It, this might be 10 and a half by 10 or 10 and a half by 10 and a half. It's a little bit slightly larger. So that bedroom is going to share this bathroom with this bedroom. Pretty much symmetrical. It's a nice large bathroom though. And keep in mind, this house doesn't even go over 1900 square feet. 1892, nice large bathroom. Deco tile band going throughout. Cool little tub. Shower head, contemporary style. And then coming out to your left, you're gonna have another be uh, bedroom. And this is a three bedroom, 1892, 360,000. Some of that money, folks, went into that contemporary front uh, elevation. You could probably have done 350 on this floor plan. I'll talk to the uh, rep, but I'm pretty sure you can take off 10 grand for that front elevation. You could be in here for about 348. Before we show you the kitchen, let's go in here, folks. Came in here, came to your, uh, your garage. Now, it's not three car per se from the front, but it's a tandem. I would kill to have one two car garage, which most people have. That's a tandem, whether you have or need the space, have a car or need that space, check that out. That's your shop, that's everything. This is a huge garage. Why did we get up to in price? That the house that was 1,600 square feet, four bedroom at uh, 320s, 322, it didn't have a three car garage. So you're just paying for more of everything. You lost a bedroom, but you gained garage space. Remember, it's all electric, so this heater's electric. Oh, let's get inside where it's a little quieter so we could talk about um, heat pump for that. Remember, we were talking about that earlier? Let's see. So, water heater, I was taught a bit about it. Uh, gosh, let's go back in there. Cause this is a slightly new to me cause they're going all electric, right? Look at this. So that's gotta be part of this crazy system. We all know what this is, water heater. Look at this, look at this uh, uh, vents up here. Watch, there's a big old fan here, folks. Let's see if you can zoom in there, Vlad. See this fan on this side? Check that out. That's a fan right there. Ooh, it's even slow. Okay, perfect shot. So that fan, it takes ambient air induction to your water to start getting it to temp. So it tastes the air around it, right? It senses the air around it, figures out what the temperature is and what it can do with that air, rams it in there, does what it's supposed to do with air. It's got a heat pump, heat pump induction air from the ambient air around it. Whatever that does to help heat the water, does and then the rest is heated from a coil inside there no gas obviously because it's electric and the coil heats the rest pretty neat huh so then we are going to check out your laundry room remember they're going to have your cat six hub center in here somewhere or because they're giving it to you somewhere we'd have to find it your connection center for your cat six uh rg6 home run shots for your uh, router also to be powered and that way you don't have any wires showing Maybe they put that one in the garage. This is a different floor plan, folks, from this builder. Let's see what you think. They went with granite on this. What do you think about the lighting package? Little futuristic look, huh? Nice little modern contemporary feel. Nice quality feel to it. White cabinetry, folks. Tell me, would you do white? Espresso, gray, brown? Please chime in. Tell me what you think. Beautiful, beautiful, lots of cabinetry. It's only 1,890 square feet. Not bad, huh, folks? Let's show you the primary bedroom. Look at this. Just a step above, right? There's people that have tray ceilings similar to this. They just realized, put some crown molding in there, stand it apart. Keep in mind, folks, that paint on the tray ceiling is the same as the rest of the walls, but just by introducing that white, it brings in different colors and makes you, gives you that different special feel. And just like everybody's doing in 23, they're spa inspired, however they were inspired tubs, uh, bathrooms. Here's your soaker tub, awesome cabinetry, full overlay shaker style cabinets, soft closed doors and drawers, framed mirror here. You will get a, faint, a painted finished shelving here. They're just working on it. They're just working on that shelf there. You'll get it finished. You do get uh, your mini, not your mini blinds, but your two inch blinds. 
all for 360,500 folks. Let's see what the yard footprint ends up looking like in a house like this, right? Because we are in a 1892 square foot footprint. This is what your yard's gonna look like, folks. Aside from the construction, this is probably gonna be one of your quiet settings. You're as far back and away from, gosh, you can still go even further that way and be far from the highway. But you're way back here by the golf course where it's supposed to be green and beautiful. Come over here, see if you can get a shot of that, uh, those meadows over there and those mountains. Yeah, just pick it up and, oh man, look at that. But for now, do me a favor, share this channel, like it, subscribe, share it to friends that you think are gonna watch it, and also comment. That helps me a great amount, tremendously. Don't forget, folks, we're standing in 360,000. Come and buy it, get a hold of me. Alrighty, folks, lights are shut down. We've been filming for quite a while for these houses. I got two more to show you, like and subscribe. I don't wanna make this video too long, so we're gonna cut this one off. Um, and don't forget, I got two more houses. Like, subscribe, share these videos, please. Tell everybody about them. Also, uh, follow us for this uh, series that we might do on the Casa for a Cause house that's gonna go to charity. So make sure you like and subscribe. We're gonna go to this next house. Same setup, everything, but uh, different video because it's too long. Hopefully you stick around for the next one. Thank you. So if you want to know about where this neighborhood is and where this, this park is, free access to you and want to move to this area, give me a call today, Alfonso Garcia, The Palms Realty.